PHP Storm 2016.2 has been released. Let's take a look at the exciting new features that have landed in this release. Let's look at the cool new PHP 7 features first. We've added a number of inspections that fire when PHP 7 is in strict type mode. Notice how we've told PHP 7 that parameters passed into this function should be a string, but because we're passing in an integer, we get in the red squiggly lines and the inspection telling us that the parameter is expected to be a string. This also works with return type hints. Here you can see we're telling the function it should return a boolean and now we get the red squiggly intention from the inspection because we're returning an int. Returning an integer fixes this. We can also fix the first inspection by just passing in a string. We've tidied up the way that PHP Storm understands PHP 7's uniform variable syntax and also added basic parsing support for the upcoming PHP 7.1. We've added a new way to autofill the parameters of a function using the params keyword. You can tab forwards or shift tab backwards between the parameters to make completing them easy. You can turn this feature on automatically so you don't have to type the params keyword. Now, every time we invoke a function, we automatically get the parameters completed. The parameter suggestions have also been altered. If PHP Storm can infirm the type from a PHP 7 type hint or a dot block, then the correct types will be floated to the top of the parameter suggestions. This new filtered suggestion pane can be invoked anywhere in the IDE by using control shift and space instead of control and space. This works for returns, parameters and exceptions too. Speaking of exceptions, the way that the throws doc block annotation is generated has been updated. Here you can see the traditional way. We only generate the throws annotation for anything thrown inside that function. Using the PHP doc settings, we can increase the analysis depth to more than zero meaning we get the throws annotation for any exceptions that are thrown deeper in the nested function call stack. Now we get both exceptions added as throws annotations. This version of PHP Storm has also tidied up some of the historical problems around unused imports. Historically, the function and constant imported here would not have been detected as unused, but now you can see that they are. They'll get removed when you optimize imports from the reformat file system. Having Xdebug enabled for your command line PHP configuration slows down every command line operation, including running composer update or running your PHP unit tests. For this reason, PHP Storm 2016.2 introduces the on-demand Xdebug setting. We don't have Xdebug installed and configured for command line, as you can see. But adding the location of the xdebug.so file means PHP Storm can detect and use xdebug on demand. Even though we don't have xdebug installed for our global PHP install, PHP Storm can still debug this script by just pressing the debug button. It enables xdebug just in time to allow the debugging to happen. Notice how we don't even have to tell PHP Storm to listen when we debug in command line scripts. This on-demand debugging speeds up things like unit tests immensely. Sick of adding standard boilerplate to each of your framework projects every time you create them? You can now save your project as a project template, which means you can create a new project from that template with all the boilerplate configured as you like. Simply use the Save Project as Template menu from the Tools dropdown to create a template. This template is now available in the new project window under user defined. Any projects you create from this template will have all the same files as the project you created the template from. Now Joomla support has been added. You can create a new component, module or Joomla plugin right from within the IDE. After you've given your project a name, you need to tell PHP Storm where to find Joomla installed on your local machine. PHP Storm will do the rest and create the boilerplate for you. The Joomla plugin supports Joomla specific global functions such as jhtml and jtext. 
you can click right through to the definition here. The plugin also supports other things that are unique to Joomla, such as Joomla's unique dock blocks or Joomla's unique code style. You can pick that right from the set from menu in the code style window. It also has automatic data source detection and more. PHP Storm 2016.2 comes with so many new and cool features. Why not give it a try? Find out more at jetbrains.com slash phpstorm. And let me know what you think.